Hi everybody, how are you? I hope you are fine at home with all the family members of your life. Stay home, stay safe and be alert. Okay, take care of yourself. Today, I'd like to talk about some sentences. Yes, it's all about history of English literature. So, within this topic, you are going to get some hints of, uh, what can I say, some sentences related to quiz. Okay, as I have mentioned in our online class, there will be a possibility of having some sentences related to uh, what can I say some quizzes some fill up the gaps or sometimes you have to answer a very big question like a uh, broad question or sometimes it can come uh, coming it can be coming like short questions as well so today I'd like to talk about some quizzes hope you will get some answers after watching this video and I can make it right now suppose uh, if the question comes like old English literature or Anglo-Saxon period starts so you have to fill up the gaps it starts in 450 2 it ends 1066 okay so uh, another sentence it can be coming like Anglo-Saxon period um, has uh, what can I say Germanic two Germanic tribes who are those so mention it the Angles and the Saxons are, and, and you know that with Angles and Saxons we have got Jews as well so within these three tribes we have got oral literature so from this period oral literature came out and as you know that old english literature or anglo-saxon period did not have printing press that is why we don't have any uh, kind of um, what can i say we lost so many literature and we cannot get some information related to the poets as well suppose if i talk about who is the writer of the epic and uh, it's all about Beowulf. We don't know the writer. Okay, so sometimes it's uh, it can be uh, coming like uh, uh, what can I say the Exeter book. We don't know who is the writer. Okay, so that is why I'm ta telling that old English literature and Anglo-Saxon period. It's all about oral literature. So next, move on to the uh, we can go uh, forward to the next part that is. Uh, sometimes it uh, the uh, Anglo-Saxon period and sometimes uh, what can I say old English period was also involved in translation okay so there is a very great contribution of King Alfred he was not only a king great king but also he has very great contribution in English literature okay so we can talk about some uh, uh, relation related to Kedman and Cinewolf that means these writers are very important in old English literature because uh, Kedman was also famous for his uh, historical writing and Cinewolf as I have also mentioned in my other video that Cinewolf was uh, very famous for his mythical writing okay so um another point can be coming like passion for sea so mention what is all about passion for sea so you know that uh in uh, what can i say some seafarer wanderer this type of writings they have made in english literature that means uh, anglo-saxon period or old english period we have got their interest in sea that means they have some passion for sea and it's all about adventurous life okay so they lie they were very fond of adventurous life and another thing i'd like to mention that there are there uh, there was a fascination and sometimes they mentioned the melancholy of the sea okay 
so let's move on to the next part of the quiz suppose if you get some question uh, was any printing press uh, available in old english or anglo-saxon period and you can ask uh, you can answer like no there was no printing press in old english or anglo-saxon period that is why we don't get uh, the writing literature must much and we know about oral english literature and next part can be related to uh, it's all about as i have already mentioned it was all about oral transmission that is why some poems were involved in heroic and religious poems as i have already mentioned beowulf so this can be related to one of the examples of heroic deeds okay and uh, some religious poems uh, were also there in anglo-saxon or uh, old english period and uh, another thing there will be some questions like uh, who were brightons you can uh, talk like brightons were christians and uh, who were germanic tribes you can uh, answer like germanic tribes were pagans okay so uh, another thing uh, i'd like to mention that uh, try to go through who was the writer or uh, what are the uh, what can i say prominent literary works of english literature specifically as i have already mentioned all about old english and anglo-saxon period so read it very carefully there will be some questions related to uh, what can i say some sentences these are all about simple sentences or sometimes uh, one or two types of uh, two lines of sentences can be coming so uh, be prepared for that this will be coming like as your quiz okay take care everybody watch this video hope this video will be helpful for you to take some preparation for the quiz as well so stay at home and uh, be very friendly with your uh, siblings and take care of your family